have another great workout for you today. This workout is going to be focused on the upper body. It's going to consist of combos. There's going to be five combos total. The intervals are going to be quite long right now and also the break intervals. So we're focusing on building muscle and we're going to go through these five combos twice.
This was a very tough workout. And uh, it was pretty long intervals. And this was, was a killer. It really is, especially if you do it in the proper form. And you definitely take your time with the form and you really pay attention to the form. This workout, it was just... Uh, it was tough. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go over every single exercise that I just did in this workout, every single combo, including variations for beginners, and stay tuned. So, I'm going to go over every single uh, combo that I did in this routine, including variations for beginners, and um, let's do it. So, in this workout, I was using my pink toy. This one. I was also using my blue disc, a pull up bar, and my VersaFit, it's 40 pound bag. And the mat, stuff like that. So, the first combo in this routine is, consists of a di uh, two dips. You're gonna do two dips right here. One, whichever way you can do them. If you can go like without feet, like this. You can do that as well, but the intervals are quite long and that's why I simplified it just a bit. So you're going to do two dips from here in a controlled movement. This is for advanced. I'm going to get to the beginner's version after that. In a controlled movement, you're going to pull your abs a little bit in, pick your feet up, slide backwards, do two shoulder presses, your feet are on your toes, controlled, very controlled movement, no jerky movement, the back is straight and don't try to go for speed, try to go for the quality of your reps and a good form. That's your goal in this workout, in every workout. From here, you're going to control, bring your abs in again, down, you're going to go back to dips, back, back, controlled, Shoulder presses and controlled down. If you're a beginner, um, let's see, what can you do? Let's see if you don't have this equipment. Okay, let's start if you have somewhat of equipment. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna try to do uh, with both feet on the ground the same way. You're gonna try to do two dips again. As, as far as you can go, you don't have to go too far, as far as you can make it. From here, you're gonna put your feet, you're gonna walk your feet backwards. You're gonna ba look, look right here. You're gonna walk your feet backwards. And then right here, you're gonna try to do just a slight movement of your hands. It doesn't have to be all the way down. You can just do very little bit. And then control, one foot at a time. Bring it this way. Um, let's see, if you don't have this equipment, you know, I have this little thing standing there because the equipment wiggles and it's driving me crazy. If you don't have this equipment, what you're going to do is this. You're going to take a chair like this one. You're going to do two dips. One, two. From here, you're going to stand up and then do two shoulder presses and then go back into dips and back and forth like that. So, bravo. Now, the next exercise in this equipment, I was using my 40 pound bag. So you can imagine it's pretty heavy to lift with your, just with your abs. In this exercise, your core is working the most. Obviously, your arms are going up and down as well. So you're gonna feel it in your shoulders. Your back is straight right here. You're gonna pick up the bag. I have 40 pounds. You can use just like a backpack and fill it with sand or books, whatever. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna take the bag, use your abs, keep your back straight, Lift it, using your abs right here. Right here, your abs are tight, your knees are slightly bent. You're gonna press up. 
Controlled movement down. Controlled movement all the way down. Stand up. And you're gonna keep going like this. If you're a beginner, you can just do the same thing but use much lighter weight. Make sure your back is always straight and your abs are always tight. You got that beginners? Now, the next combo is two diagonal foot touches and a pike up. Now, your feet are gonna be a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You are going to engage your abs in this, work, in this exercise. You're gonna reach over diagonally, the opposite hand and the opposite foot, and you're gonna to touch it. I touched it right here on the, on the inner foot. You're gonna control the go down. Same thing on the other, working your obliques. And then you're gonna do a pike up from here. And then you're gonna do it again. And then a pike up. If you're a beginner, what you're gonna do is you're gonna touch the foot. One, touch the foot, another. Then you're gonna go up, up. So this is what you're gonna do if you're a beginner. Let me show it to you once again. Diagonally, controlled movement. Diagonally, controlled movement. Up. Up. So, this is what beginners are going to do. The next combo after this was, I was using my balance disc. Um, this is more of an advanced type of push-ups. The hands are also close grip. And this gives you this imbalance and it's really soft, so the challenge is really great actually. With this, I'm, I'm having a hard time going through two, two reps, you know. So you're going to do two wide grip pull-ups with a controlled movement. You're not going to be rushing, you know. You can help yourself with a chair, if you have a chair. Or you can just help yourself with both feet. You're going to do two pull-ups. You're not going to assist yourself on the way down. You're going to do another one. From here, you're going to place your hands, if you have a medicine ball, you could also use a medicine ball for this. Um, you're going to place your hands right here, jump backwards, and then you're going to do two push-ups and see how imbalanced this is? It's much tougher. Now, the last exercise, oh, beginners. Um, okay, beginners, if you're a complete, complete, complete beginner, you're gonna do assisted pull-up. Let's say this is an invisible chair. It's right here. You see the chair here? It's invisible. You're gonna place your foot on the chair that's invisible. You're gonna, or your both feet on the chair, and you're gonna help yourself up using a chair. Let's say it's right there. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other foot. And then you are going to walk your feet backwards, place them on your knees, and do two push-ups. And this is how it's done. Now, the last exercise combo in this routine was three back lifts, we can't forget the back, and three forward jumps. And I'm gonna pay attention to my form in this exercise, do not rush. I'm gonna show you the proper form then I'm going to show you what not proper form looks like, and that's what you should not be doing. So this is what you should be doing. I'm going to show you. You are going to do three back lifts, squeezing your shoulder blades. Then you're going to place your hand by your chest, your back stays straight, your abs are tight, and your feet are on your toes. You are gonna slowly push out with your back straight and your form has to look great. From here, you're gonna do two jump forwards. Three, sorry. One. Pause after every single one. Three. In a good form, you're gonna come down and do the same thing. Um, if you are a beginner, you're gonna do also three back lifts. From here, you can help yourself up you can place your feet, uh, your, sorry, your knees down. You can stand up with your knees down. 
then you are going to stand up up and you're going to do this. Place your knees back down, all the way down. Now, this is what you shouldn't do. And this is what a lot of people who don't know the proper form do. Something that looks like this. They'll do a back lift and then they'll push and the back will come this way. No, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't, if your shoulders are tucking, your back looks like this, then that's not a proper form. You always want to make sure that your uh, core is tight and you're pushing out in a proper form out in a proper form. Um, it's better for you to get less reps than sacrifice your form and do more reps. Because to do more reps in a bad form, you are really wasting your time. So make sure your back does not look like this. No matter which exercise you do, lunges, if your back looks like this, wrong. If you're doing mountain climbers and your back looks like this, wrong. It's always straight back. Um, Pretty much any good trainer will tell you that. Now, this was it for today, my little munchkins. Um, I hope you're gonna have fun with this routine as much as I did. I like that name, munchkins. I think uh, I'm really liking the name munchkins. Munchkins, my little munchkins. <laughs> Anyways, uh, see you guys at lovingfit.com. <laughs> Anyway, stop by my blog and uh, share your scores. I'll be posting my scores for this routine as well. And I also want to thank all of you that have been think, uh, ugh, that have been sharing your scores with me and being extremely active on Facebook and everywhere else. So I want to say thank you guys for your support and all these great positive things that you guys, you know, help me with. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Mwah.